Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to another episode of Arise. I hope that the wind will not be a problem. Today, it was so windy yesterday, so I couldn't record it all yesterday, but it's still pretty windy here. Hopefully the sound will come across okay. I'm thankful to have all of you guys back joining me today. I've got a, a hot button topic to talk about, um, and I am, I'm excited to talk to you guys about it because I want to get your thoughts and your, I don't want to say your feelings because our feelings deceive us. I want to get your thoughts on this subject. So I have Maverick with me again today. He's on the, on the floor in his little bouncer, so he might end in the Arise with me like he did last time. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Lord in prayer and then we will get started. Jesus, thank you for this day. Lord, we know that we are sinners and without you, we have no hope, Lord. We know that we are saved by your grace through faith, God. Work in our hearts, Lord, move in our hearts. Reveal to us things that we need to change or prune, Lord, we just ask for this in Jesus' name. Thank you for everyone that is joining us here today, Lord. You know what they are going through. I thank you for Luna as she barks over there for her healing after her surgery, Lord. And I just, I ask that you move and everyone who's watching, I ask that you move in their hearts, God. Reveal yourself to them. Bring them the peace that only you can give, God. I just pray that they lean on you more than ever. You are their refuge and their strength, God. I pray that your word comes through me this morning. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay guys, let's talk about Halloween as Christians. I always get messages and comments when people see my kiddos dressed up for Halloween. People tell me, you know, you can't do fall festivals, you can't do Halloween if you're, if you're a Christian. And there are three opinions about this. One opinion is that Halloween is completely satanic and demonic and they have no part of it. Another opinion is that you don't do the spooky stuff, you don't do the blood and the gore, but you still participate. You still run around and, and get dressed up with your friends and your family and, and get gather candy. And then third is you go all out. You don't see anything wrong with it. You do you do all the blood and the gore and the all the Halloween fun and you you don't worry about it. You just participate. You go in and go all out. So the name Halloween comes from All Saints Day, which is a celebration of the early Christian church. It's the day before the Reformation of Martin Luther. All Hallows Eve, the evening before All Saints Day, began the time of remembrance. And All Hallows Eve was eventually changed to Halloween. It also means holy evening. There's so much more history for you guys um, to learn about past traditions, festivals, why people deem it as, as satanic and demonic. This is something that you have to research for yourself. This is something that you have to decide what is best for you and your family. There were many pagan festivals where the crops would be dying, they, they would have sacrifices of animals that weren't gonna live, so skeletons and those kind of things and, and seeking spirits kind of came into effect. The pagan festivals, the Celtic festivals, the festivals held in Europe about, about harvesting and, and sacrificing and crops and it symbolized kind of like winter coming and darkness so people started to, to call spirits and, and try to call their loved ones. This is kind of where all the superstition and, and all of that, all the darkness kind of came and took place. So you guys can research this, but I want to talk about the Christian and Halloween. It wasn't until about the 19th century that the United States or America started kind of participating in Halloween. And I don't have all the answers here, guys. I, I am still being sanctified each and every single day. I'm still being convicted each and every single day about decisions I make and, and, and things that we decide to do for our family. So you guys have to do the same. You guys have to test everything. Don't take what I say. To heart, you have to test it. You have to go to the Word. You have to test everything that even I say to you. So for Halloween, we've always let our kids dress up as characters. We've always let our kids, you know, be a character from a Disney movie or, or a character from a TV show that they have a children's character or just an animal or something like that. We don't do the blood and the gore and the guts and, and all that. But I have, since being reborn, I have had to ask myself, am I doing something that's going against God's Word? Because we're always supposed to go to God's Word. After a lot of research, a lot of prayer, a lot of talking with other Christians, a lot of, of just searching 
you know, for answers as to what would be right for our family. We kind of came to, to this conclusion that I'll share with you guys, and, and it's how we participate in Halloween. And the Bible says, There shall not be found among you anyone who uses divination, one who practices witchcraft, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who casts a spell, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls upon the dead. For whoever does these things is detestable to the Lord. And that's Deuteronomy 18, 10 through 13. So obviously you don't want to be pulling out Ouija boards. You don't want to be calling spirits and throwing blood and, and inviting that demonic, satanic spirits to have a foothold in your life. You don't want to be participating in that. Through my search, we have decided that God created every day. God created this day. God created the day of October 31st, Halloween, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's Psalm 118:24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. People say that it's Satan's day. And Satan is the prince of the air. Satan, Satan rules this earth every day, not just on Halloween, not just on October 31st. He's, he's roaming around like a lion, seeking those to kill, steal, and destroy every day, not just on this day. What other day of the year do you have neighbors? Do you have people knocking on your door? You know, it's weird to have your doorbell ring. You're like, who is that? on a normal day. But on Halloween, everybody goes around, they meet their neighbors, they knock on the doors, they smile, they pass out candy. We get to know, we get to, we get to see people face to face. And we can use this as an opportunity to love our neighbor, to witness, to share the good news of the gospel. You know, I, I miss passing out candy. We live in the country now, so we don't have trick or treaters, but I miss passing out candy. And, and now, you know, I used to pass out only candy, but if I was able to pass out candy now, I would throw a little scripture card in with it or, or pass out, Bible bookmarks or something, you know, that is another way that we can witness to the world on what is considered a dark day. Mark 12, 30 through 31 commands us to love our neighbors. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. The day, the day is already going to come. The day is already going to happen. You can choose to turn your light off, which is fine. There's no problem in, in people who choose not to participate and turn their lights off and, and don't want to have any part of Halloween. Or you can choose to flip on that light and be the light and smile at your neighbors and smile at the cute little kiddos that come that come down the street, you know, wanting to just say hi and grab a couple of Reese's peanut butter cups. There's no need to focus on the dark and the evil and, and live in fear because Jesus has overcome the world. Jesus has overcome death and bless you. He has conquered death and he has called us to a, a fulfilling full life in him. So we can take that day and we can redeem it and we can we can make it holy and set apart. We can say no, we don't allow this day to be invaded by Satan and evil spirits. We are solid in our belief of Jesus Christ and we can go into the world and we can witness. Lincoln wanted to be Jesus for Halloween. Can you imagine Jesus walking around with ghosts and ghouls and witches? And that's a conversation starter. When you knock on the door is Jesus, that is a conversation starter. First John 4, 4, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. As long as we are not participating in things that dishonor Christ, the Bible doesn't say anything about you can't go around and you can't dress up and you can't collect candy. So as long as we are not doing anything that dishonors Christ, inviting those evil spirits in, letting them have a foothold in our life, then I don't think there, I don't see a problem with dressing up as Woody from Toy Story or a ballerina and walking around and having fellowship with your friends and strangers and neighbors. You guys have to make the decision that's right for your family and I'm not one to say what you should or shouldn't do. We just always get comments when people see our kids dressed up because they say that we can't participate if we're Christian. And we just have a little bit of a different view on that. As I said, I'm still being sanctified. I don't know how I'll feel five years from now, but for now, we're choosing to be the light and we're choosing not to live in fear and we're choosing to love our neighbors as ourselves. As long as we're talking to our kids about the true meaning behind certain holidays and certain things that we celebrate and what they're really about, then I think it's harmless. I think it's harmless to, to go into the world and try to be that salt and light and enjoy a day that some want to take from you and make you feel that it's dark and demonic and satanic because it's not. God created this day and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So what are your views on Halloween? Do you guys participate? Do you not have any part of it at all? Do you go all out? Do you do the scary stuff? How do you feel about that? I want you guys to pray about it. Pray about it this week. Go to the Word and see what it, see what God speaks to you. 
his word is living and alive and he he will guide you with his his word and his spirit you are chosen thank you guys so much for watching i'm sure i'm going to get a lot of both sides of this conversation and that's okay we're allowed to talk about it and have heated fellowship as our pastors say but just be kind to each other in the comments just because somebody doesn't participate in something the same way you do let us open the door let us open the door and, and talk about that and discuss that you guys are chosen holy and set apart so let's go into the world if you do participate tonight and share the love of Jesus somehow. Maybe you can find some way to witness to a neighbor who may not know who he is. Hope y'all have a great night, great week. I'll see you next time, bye.